We're discussing an interesting issue because um, Mark is contrasting the situation in Greater London with the situation uh, in the Netherlands. And I think actually these two models are very illuminating. Um, I'm going to talk about Greater London just for a minute and say, yes, there are 33 municipalities. Yes, there's a metropolitan government. Yes, there's a green belt. And there's 22 million people living in the Greater Greater London region, which is a series of specialized cities and towns, Brighton, Oxford, Cambridge, Reading, Swindon, etc. So the model of London is a dense metropolitan city with a regional network of smaller cities around it. And actually, that's the spatial model for growth. And for that area, I think that there's an inherent flexibility. And uh, we have to get used to the idea that London is not going to be a monocentric city in the future. The great thing here in the Netherlands with the four cities and their metropolitan areas is that you have an inbuilt flexibility. Um, I think that the secret weapon of the Netherlands is that this is the best infrastructure platform in the world between four cities. There's no better place in the world in terms of transportation, in terms of land use planning and management, in terms of connectivity, ease of access, the great Schiphol Airport and the great four cities with this amazing network. It's absolutely amazing. What it means is that the growth model for the Netherlands is about this network of cities, exactly as has been said. And I think the, the challenge, Richard, if there is one, is simply to be bold and confident about that. Um, when I looked at the data recently um, uh, in order to think about the Netherlands, because I'm interested in the Netherlands, I discovered not only is this the best infrastructure platform in the world between four cities, but it's also probably the best higher education cluster in the world. It's probably the best innovation cluster in the world. But unless you present it as that, it might be hard to catch the attention. So somehow you need a combination. I agree completely. You don't, you don't reform governance because that takes a long time. But you need a bold, confident message about this group of four cities. And I accept what's being said about Eindhoven and Groningen and probably Maastricht comes into it somewhere. But these four cities in particular offer the opportunity to have a distributed world city region connected with world-class infrastructure, with four centers, each of them being a hub of a metropolitan space that overlaps with others. The world's not used to that idea. So maybe you have to communicate a little bit more sharply and more confidently to get it, but there's absolutely no barrier to the investment community understanding that very quickly and going forward. So this is why I'm essentially optimistic, and I believe that the Dutch cities will remain in the top decile of the world's cities for a long time to come. When we um, speak to international architects, uh, they say to me, well, we are working in a lot of metropolitan areas in Asia, in the United States, in Europe. And um, the Randstad is unique in their opinion because they have the green heart. And you never see that ever in the world. So the, in New York, yeah, the Central Park maybe. Yeah, but I think that's very worthful for the marketing of uh, our uh, urban region in the Netherlands. But I think, well, maybe we should shift uh, aside their, their, their local pride a bit and then sell us more like, well, the Amsterdam area. I was, uh, two weeks ago, I was giving a lecture for international affairs. It, it was in Seist, and it was announced as Seist near Amsterdam. And I think that's the way we should not only, well, uh, explain the Netherlands, but also how we should sell uh, uh, the Netherlands a bit more. And maybe, well, it's not important that much that we also have a, a, a fantastic harbor, which is called Rotterdam, but for international investors, I think one of your conclusions uh, to attract international investors is a one-stop shop model. And I think we need in the Netherlands more a one-stop shop model for, for people, companies, investors who want to invest in the Netherlands. To be honest, I think it's quite easy. Uh, we started presenting ourselves as Holland City last time at the Miepin, for example, and everybody knows about uh, the port of Rotterdam, the beautiful city of Amsterdam. Uh, we have our own characteristics and people know that and investors know it. 
but we're so close and we combine such a, a lot of values. I mean, when I asked, uh, uh, or I think it was a journalist who asked the chairman of uh, Cambridge Innovation Center, who is going to create his new office in the, the center of Rotterdam, why Rotterdam? He said, it's a beautiful city. It has two very nice airports. Skip Hall, 20 minutes away, and uh, uh, Rotterdam de Haag uh, Airport, five minutes away. There's three top university uh, within Rotterdam area. Um, so if you if you look at it as a bigger region and with all our own characteristics, it's not competition. It's a coalition of strong elements who make each other stronger, even stronger. So um, it's the only way we should be, do business and cooperate uh, with each other, I guess.